Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, if you are a patron, is once again brought to you by you. And today we're going to be going over a classic from, Bra from Brazil. 1990s debut full length from Mystifier Wicca. Nuclear War Now did a glorious job with this reissue. It's just super sick. And with the sale, 1625. You can't go wrong there. Now, what do you get from Wicca? You get some of the legit gnarliest South American black metal in the game. I mean, come on. Oh, hell yeah. Evil shit. And don't forget, one of the prizes this month is the Mystifier Flyer. Yeah, here it is. But by the time this video airs, the winner was probably chosen already, but join the Patreon so you don't miss out on cool shit. Because the March package had the incantation, XL, double-sided, Command Death Strike cassette. Yeah. The fetid sentient pile of amorphous rock, first press USA edition demo on vinyl. So, not playing, but I was so stoked to be able to grab this. And I wanted to grab the sophomore album as well, but I just. Honestly, I'm more of a fan of Wicca. And we have some Brazilian black metal. Let's read the hype sticker. At long last, the definitive edition of Mystifier's classic debut album. Featuring restored original artwork and sound, Mystifier inherited much of the old uh, Kamungalo sound and spirit, but marked it with their own diabolical energy for fans of sarcophago, impurity, beheret, and blasphemy. Yep. And especially when it comes to sarcophago, I apologize. I'm grabbing desecration of demos for a reason. I could grab INRI just as well. But yeah, we'll grab INRI as well. I'm sorry. Just make life a little bit easier, but I have a feeling it's not going to be where it should be. And I am correct. Jeez. Alright, put your records back where they belong, people, because you never know when you're going to need something like that. Oh, wait. Here's the cassette version, but it's just a little too small to... I just want to show you, like, that this was, you know... 
Like, this was the image. And it's just on the money to me when it comes to just black death metal in general. Obviously had a huge influence on the scene. And you go back to, like, German thrash metal and you see where a lot of this image came from. And it's just cool, because knowing these bands are both, like, from the same time period, from the same, you know, vicinity and stuff, it's awesome hearing, like, the little differences and stuff, yet the similarities of blasphemy, and I, I just love it. And I'm not talking about the band Blasphemy, although, yeah, but just the evil that is Sarcophago and the sleeves. Because Mystifier, like, they don't just keep it straight up evil. They go for the satanic sleaze, which to me is another South American trademark from... Sex Trash to even Volcano. Like, they just have that sound that's kind of just like, whoa, like, that sounds like sleazy. And I mean that, like, legit in the best way. Like, uh, on INRI, I know that there's, like, uh, the one track, uh, yeah, Ready to Fucky? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you ready to fuck you? But, yeah. Like, I, I I like, you know, a little bit of sleaze with my evil. And I know it's not the brown cover. Don't kill me. Somebody actually told me, like, you know, you don't really have INRI unless you have the brown cover. Shut up. But I love, like, I know this is about Mystifier, but I love it. Just, like, fuck you. <laughs> it's got fucking Christ crossed out and shit. I know it's kind of immature, but it's awesome. And, you know, I wonder if, like, Sarcophago, like, parents were mad, like, did you go through my makeup again? <laughs> you know, like, I just bought a bunch of black eyeliner, what the fuck? <laughs> like, was it you, Butcher? <laughs> but now, they actually give you, like, real names, kind of. Like Wagner, Antichrist on vocals. Eduardo, crazy on bacteria. Wait, what? Oh, bacteria. Like drums, battery. Alright. The Christ Death demo, though. Like. Essential shit, but I feel like. INRI, Desecration of Demos, like, Goetia, or Gotia, I always mispronounce the sophomore, I love, love that release, but Wicca just, to me, it's more raw, it, it's just, it, to me, it's like, exactly what I want when it comes to South American Late 80s, early 90s, black metal. I, I just love it. If I can see what sarcophago record I'm looking for, I'll grab it. Regurgitation. No, god damn it. I'm sorry, folks. Ah, oh, there's INRI. But... The other sarcophago I wanted to grab. Uh, 
fuck? Where the hell is it? It had to have slid back. <laughs> That's the only thing I can, like, legit think of happening. Oh, no, I found it. I'm sorry. I legit apologize. Like, 100% apologize. Now, I grabbed Rotting just for a reason to show that the band was changing. Like, it went more just a different route than you would think and went more down the sleazy evil route, which again, I love, but like the lost alcoholic coma, Tracy, rotting sex, drinks, and metal, and nightmare. Like, it's just a lot different of a sound than... INRI. You get what I'm saying? And I know I don't have the brown cover. And if you didn't know what I meant by Cogmelo uh, Cogmelo Records and like Grey Hayes do a lot of the uh reissues and stuff for the South American scene. Like, I love this poster for so many reasons. Like, let me just real quick show again. Remember, this is like 1989. So, not many bands were doing this. Hanging out in cemeteries, Taking photos. And I legitimately, like, think if it wasn't for the German thrash scene, the Brazilian bestial thrash, the, the whole South American extreme metal scene, let's put it that way, I feel like it all is kind of essential, like, just in the grand scheme of extreme music, because if this didn't exist, like, what would Fall Angel of Doom sound like? What would Blood Upon the Altar sound like? No idea. It's a curious, like, thought, and I like thinking about it sometimes. But, back to Mr. Fire's Wicca, this is just, to me, like I said, one of the best slabs of classic, satanic sleaze. But, probably more satanic than sleaze, to be honest with you here. This is some evil shit. I love how you have side 6 and then side 66. It's sick. And, you know, when one of your band members is also named Black Goat Beelzebub, you know what you're doing. The Satanists are behemoth. I cannot pronounce that dude's name. But, uh, Luf Lucifage Rolofkow. I know I said that wrong, and I apologize. This is actually produced by uh, Black Goat Beelzebub. I did not know that. I just looked at it, and... Oh, and the album cover was... Uh... Oh, nope. The album cover design was by Black Goat Beelzebub. So, the front album cover art is done by... Uh... Seo Pedro. Like, here's some Beharit. Like, 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 this is very early, like, you can tell this influence drawing down the moon. Like, to me, it's obvious, but... 
if you're one, because there's a release I have been obsessed with. This is really sick. Beherit Worship, but again, at the same time, Beherit is taking a page from Mystifier's book, like, the keyboards, everything. So good. Like, it's straight up, like, no, nana. Like, it's almost the exact, like, beat for beat, you know? And I think that's sick. But, like, I, I love the whole layout, like, the baptism, the kiss, the books, the Lord, and it's the Lord below. Satanus in his original glory. And we have photos of like Behemoth, Black Goat, Bezelbuff, Lucifage, Rofocal, and the vocalist whose name I really don't want to butcher. Sick, sick South American awesomeness. And like they thank the first bands on here that they thank Black Winds and Blasphemy like that's awesome so they were definitely in contact and stuff so like this is another release like if you pick it up and I'm gonna read you the no thanks real fast hold on Because this is one of those albums where I know some people complain about it. They're like, dude, like, the slow parts are too slow. But when it gets fast, it kicks ass. I personally, I, I like the slow parts. I like that it builds up to, you know, something along the lines of, like, legit bestial black metal because it, it, there's parts where you could say like ah it's kind of like mid-tempo like thrash with like some death metal vibes but like the more you listen to it and read the lyrics which are honestly very important on this release and super just evil and it puts a smile on my face, like, sometimes. Like, I, I was, like, laughing. I saw a skeleton in a dark shroud armed with a Sith. It's just sick. This is a personification of death for the life and death forever. I am alive. It's torture eternal, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm guessing it's in Portuguese. I'm not positive, and I apologize once again to all my South American viewers. But this, like, little thank you list here, it's pretty interesting. Like, Belphegor's on here, Belial, uh, I think there's a lot of names, uh, Demon C, but I don't know what Demon C. Because it says Wicked and Demoncy. So, there's a lot of shit on here that's definitely worth checking out. Wait, I wonder if Z is... Oh, uh, no, he's from Portugal. Wait, where's Portugal? I'm sorry, I'm going to shut up and end this. But uh, let me read you the no thanks. And a lethal spell to our enemies. Christians, the miserable... Skinheads, the idiots, racists, the imbeciles, we hate you, thieves, the ripoffs, and anyone else we may have forgotten, die in the clouds with his god, Sanctus, Lucifer, Leviathan, Bezelbov, Astroth, Sugarat, Silchard, and Galand, Torment, 
all of them. The evil by evil Earth. Sick. So, don't fuck with Mr. Fire. <laughs> and the cover. I have to go over the cover real quick and then I'll get out of your hair. Because the cover, now, you can call it childish. And here's what I have to say to that. For real. Like, to me, I, I just think it works so good with the album, period. Like, everything about it with a different front cover. And I've seen versions of this without this cover. And it's just like, what are you doing? Like, I saw one where it was just like, the, the cap, it was just like cut off here. And was like just the cross. And it was kind of weird. It was like a bootleg at my old record store. But. <laughs> Looks like somebody cut off old JC's head. <laughs> just an awesome scene right here of evil. And to me that sums up what you get out of. Mr. Fire Wicca. Like, you just gotta look at the LP cover, look at the back, and you know, alright, I'm getting into some gnarly, gnarly South American black metal. And that's if you are lucky enough to have the hype sticker at your local record store. Or you just know, like, oh, Mr. Fire is that awesome. South American, like, black death band. Or just straight up Brazilian black metal. It depends on what you want to consider it. Because I, I kind of, like, as much as I say bestial, like, it is kind of black metal. Satanic black metal. But it's played in that style of, like, there's, there's de you know, there's, there's definitely... You know, Blood Upon the Altar came out a couple years before. So there's the influence. Like I said, their number one thank you was Blasphemy. And you have to remember Fallen... I meant... Uh, what's it called? Well, Fallen Angel of Doom had not been released yet. And... Uh, what's it called? Um... Oh my goodness. Beherit's Drawing Down the Moon where I really... But you can even go to Dawn of Satan's Millennium. And if you look at the Mystifier demos and stuff, you, you'll understand. Again, same with Sarcophago. It all goes back to South America. And like I said, German thrash metal. They go look at early... Destruction promo photos. Look at early Sodom promo photos, and you will know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. But Mr. Fire with Wicca, debut full length, 1990. Killer, killer Brazilian bestial black metal attack. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep it at that. And yeah, I'm pretty on. I'm pretty agreeing when it comes to the influences here. Mandatory listening for fans of Sarcophago, Impurity, Beherit, and Blasphemy. So, yeah. If you're a fan of those releases, but like I was saying, not like this. I'm talking demos... And, like, INRI. But. Mystifier, our gloat. You are those of the empty birthplace and undead flock. You are those whose arrival the stars foresee and tread. You are those with the heart forged by black coal and left intact. The glorious aim 
unseated soul. So get in to Brazil's Mystifier debut full length Nuclear War Now reissue. Mystifier Wicca. Fuck yeah. Thanks for watching as always. Fucking roll. Peace. Hails. Yeah. <laughs>